Practically everyone has files or folders they keep on their Mac that they don't want anyone else to access. Hey guys, it's Max with Apple Insider, and today I'll show you how to keep your files secure by turning a folder into an encrypted and password protected disk image. People are generally okay with having various important documents stored on their Mac, using File Vault to encrypt your drives, and even just having a password to access the user account in the first place. However, some users like myself feel that some folders are just too important or private not to have an extra level of security, especially if you share a user account or a computer when traveling like I am right now. A solution to this is to use Disk Utility to create a disk image that is encrypted and password protected. Open up Disk Utility, which can be found in the application's folder under Utilities. Alternately, use the search function in Finder to search this Mac for Disk Utility. In the Disk Utility menu, select File, New Image, then Image from Folder. A new dialog box will appear with a number of options available for creating a disk image. At the top, you could change the name of the disk image to something more appropriate to its contents instead of using the folder name by default, and where you want it to be initially saved. Under Encryption, select either 128-bit or 256-bit AES encryption. Selecting 256-bit will be more secure, but will be slower to access than 128-bit. Under the Image Format drop-down box, select Read and Write to be able to change files held within the image once it's created. If you don't want any changes made to the files in the folder at all, or new files to be added, select Read Only. Now into your desired password twice. Once the settings are entered, click Save, then Done. At the location defined in the settings, you'll find a new DMG file with the name entered during the process. Your new secure image is used in a similar way to other images. To access your files, the image needs to be mounted. Double click the image to mount it. A dialog box will appear asking for the password, which needs to be filled out followed by clicking OK. A tick box below the password entry offers to save the password to Keychain. If anyone else has access to the same keychain, it's probably not a good idea. Once the right password is entered, the image will mount and the files will be accessible. The folder will not need the password again when it's mounted, but will require it when it's unmounted. To unmount, right-click the mounted image and select Eject. After creating the image, it's tempting to delete the source folder and its contents. Before doing so, make sure the image functions as planned and if necessary, checking there is a securely held backup of the files. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.